Hello, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how to make a very simple but tasty chicken biryani, my style. Okay, so without too many ingredients, with some uh, basic ingredients, we can make a really easy, quick chicken biryani. So come, let's get started. The ingredients for this chicken biryani are, this is, 500 grams of chicken thighs. So I've cut it and I washed it well. This is one large onion thinly chopped. This is about five green chilies sl slit in half. One large tomato diced. This is ginger and garlic uh, minced it. So we need about one tablespoon together of ginger garlic paste. So this is biryani masala. I need about one tablespoon. This is chicken stock cube. One or two depending on the salt content you can use. Few curry leaves. This is pandan, rampe, cinnamon, few cloves. This is black cardamom. This is black cardamom too. This is green cardamom, 2 tablespoons worth of yogurt, this is butter, you can use ghee as well, few mint leaves, lemon, then the rice. This is good quality basmati rice, I've soaked it in water for about half an hour, so that is worth of 500 grams of basmati rice. Then the rest is the salt turmeric powder, black pepper powder and red chili powder and I have few cashew nuts to fry and add on top as garnishing. So that's the ingredients. So now let's get cooking. So first step is chicken. We need to marinate the chicken. So to the 500 grams of chicken, I'm going to add so two tablespoons of yogurt Salt, 1 teaspoon, 1 teaspoon of black pepper powder, 2 tablespoons of red chili powder, one teaspoon of turmeric. This is the biryani masala powder about two teaspoons. lime about one tablespoon of lime and mix it you need to marinate this for at least 30 minutes 30 to 1 hour is perfect so while this is marinating we can get the onions and everything else fried so this is step one that is marinating the chicken okay now let the chicken marinate. Now we set step two is we need to fry the cashews and set that aside. So let's get that going. So which you need to add about one tablespoon of butter. the butter melts you can add the cashews this is about one pair uh, two tablespoons of cashews the cashews are done remove that Now set it aside, add another 2 tablespoons of butter, once the butter is heating, we add the spices, cinnamon, cloves, black cardamom, 
green cardamom, pandan leaf, curry leaves. Now, you can add the onion. This is one large onion. And then let the onion become brown. Now, in add the tomato. This is one large tomato. And green chilies. Now add one teaspoon of salt at this stage so that the onions and everything gets fried quick. Keep frying it for about two to three minutes and then we can add the ginger garlic paste. Now at this stage we'll add one tablespoon of ginger garlic paste together. And mix it. we can add the chicken stock cubes I'm adding two once the stock starts to melt we can add the marinated chicken the chicken has been marinated for about 30 minutes. Now we'll add that into this. Okay, don't waste the masala. I'll tell you what to do. Just mix it. Mix it and cover it. Now after about two minutes just remove the lid and mix the chicken then cover it again cover it again for another three minutes chicken is half cooked. Now at this stage you can add some mint leaves. Mint leaves and to the extra masala we add one cup of water. Mix it. And add that. Let this cook for another 15 minutes. So after 15 minutes, remove the lid and let the chicken cook for another 5 minutes uh, without the lid.
there is 500 grams of basmati rice so if I if you, if you want a cup measure it's about two and a half cups of basmati rice so the reason I'm telling you the cup measure is so for this two and a half cups of basmati rice we are going to add four cups of water into the chicken and then cook it on that so that's the quantity so two and a half cups of basmati uh, rice four cups of water so we'll add the soaked washed and soaked strained basmati rice okay. mix it Four cups, so one, two, three, four. Mix it well. About another half a tablespoon of lime. One tablespoon of butter. Mix everything. And first, let this come to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, we close the lid and the flame should be low, very low, very low flame and then cover it, let the rice cook. So it will take about 10 minutes. So that's the procedure. So first is, now we've added the water, let it come to a boil, place the lid, and then turn the flame to the lowest, and let it cook on that flame for about 10 to 15 minutes maximum. See, it's starting to boil this stage cover it and turn the flame to the lowest <laughs> very humorous girl yeah biryani mm. mm. chicken biryani now the chicken biryani is done, all we need is to do the garnishing. So this is the fried uh, cashews, you can add that. And few mint leaves. See? This is a very easy chicken biryani. Try this recipe out and let me know how you liked it in the comment section down below. So until I see you guys next time, then yet another easy but tasty recipe. This is your Vic signing off. Bye.